All right, guys. So, got to look at my motor. Two weird things real quick. It's running on E85, E90. I've got in these two cylinders, this, it, you don't feel it, but it, I don't know if that's from, uh, from the ethanol or from the, the gas break-in, but I don't know if anyone has seen that. It's only on two. I have it a little bit. I don't have it in this one. I don't have it in this one, which is really strange. My pistons look, look almost brand new. This has got, uh, what, 1,200 miles or 800 miles on the motor. Pistons look good. The rings look good. We'll have to measure them. Uh, so you can see where the valves were hitting. This is number four, where the valves were hitting after the bearing went, but there's no damage to it at all. So I can reuse the piston. The rods look okay. This is the one that was knocking a bit. Might have to clean this up a bit. Check the spec. But uh, yeah, we'll measure that. So I might not even need new rods, which is good. We'll see. Um, now to the... So in the picture I put up, it looked like it was cracked, but it w actually, I don't think it was. It's not cracked. The crank wasn't cracked, but it's, it's fried. I have to get a new crank. So what looks good on this motor <coughs> is, here's the bearings. These are the, the rod bearings. All the mains, if I go back here, the mains were, were fine. So it's interesting <coughs> that I don't really have any damage on the mains, but on the rod bearings. So some of you smart builders out there maybe can give me some ideas. Now look at this. This is the fourth. This is the one that failed. And as you go down, three, two, one, one looks almost fine. Like, yeah, basically nothing wrong with it. Two, a little scuffed. Three, uh, you can tell something's going on. And then four just went to hell. So the question is, is it fuel pressure? Or uh, fuel pressure, oil pressure? I don't know. Uh, I don't think so. I had plenty of pressure. Clearances, maybe I did damage before. I don't know. What we think, <clears throat> what we think happened is playing with anti-leg and even during break-in, I had it really rich many times. Uh, that might have done some damage, but on this last part, maybe the oil got too much ethanol. Maybe it just filled up the one of the chambers. Maybe it just filled this up, got into oil, and uh, the oil pump was working fine, but the viscosity just went to shit. And uh, the end bearings uh, went, went out with too much ethanol in the oil. I don't know. Uh, I'll have to check that. What would cause that maybe? If you're filling up, if you're running way too rich, uh, that might do it. So I have the oil somewhere. I'll have to send it into Blackstone and, and see. But uh, it looks like most of the stuff I can reuse, these all look good. I'll have to, of course, measure them. The dart and sleeves in the block, completely fine. Even with uh, two PSI, uh, no problem. But you can see, I mean, it's, oil, it's oily. It's, there's, no, there's no scuffing, hardly any oil here. The ethanol cleans it right out, but <clears throat> ethanol will definitely nuke your oil much faster than gas will if you uh, are a dumbass like me and uh, flood your engine a couple times. So that might be the lesson learned. I would like some feedback from you guys. Um, and we'll see. We'll get working on this thing again and get it back on. And look at even the valves. I can't remember which ones we're hitting. Uh, I think these. I think these two here. The exhaust valve. All the anti leg. The exhaust valves are fine. They don't look burn or anything. There's no heat damage, heat fatigue. Um, they were bumping the, the piston, slapping, but they didn't look like they bent anything. So we might have to take them out and look. But everything looks pretty good. So. Hopefully we'll be back on the road. I gotta get a new crank and uh, some new bearings, a new oil pump. This is the 11. This is the uh, 2008, uh, 2008 11 millimeter. We've got a shim in it. So gonna have to bend that because inside the oil pan is chunks of metal. Those are bearings. So I can wash that out and uh, throw out the. Um, you can see chunks of metal on my Killer B pickup. It, it did its job. Good job, Killer B. Let's clean that out. Um, otherwise, the baffle looks like uh, we'll be back in business soon enough.
So thanks, guys. If you have any comments or uh, other feedback, it would be cool just to get uh, other experience from you guys who have built motors as well. So thanks.